blessed people, the Lord Jehovah spoke with me yesterday at night, the night before this night, and in that uh, tremendous conversation, the Lord Jehovah, he took me to a nation, and in that nation, he showed me the church, the pastors, who are disobedient and do not want to listen to this tremendous prophet, the double. And uh, they were blackmailing him also. And then at that time, he put me in one of the buses also. So I went by bus. And then after that, I saw everything, the people talking, and then after that, the Lord lifted me up and took me up into heaven. The Lord Jehovah that you saw visit Kisumu just a few days ago in Kisumu, coming in the dreadful, most powerful and most revered and most feared and fearful cloud of God coming in the cloud of His glory the physical manifest presence of Jehovah, Yahweh himself. And now you are mature enough to know that he does not come alone. Every time God the Father comes, he comes in a tremendous entourage of the Godhead, the triune God, the triunity, the trinity, together with the hosts of heaven. Some go ahead of him. He lifted me up yesterday at night after showing me that country. Then he took me up into heaven. Then I saw the hand of God Almighty, the hand of God the Father, holding the glorious cup, super glorious cup, in the sky. A super glorious cup. And I don't know whether today I can describe that cup. That cup is a bit, is the size probably of your tea cup. A little bit bigger though, but that size. And that's, the cup was full. It was full, and the Lord tilted the cup toward the nations of the earth. The cup was full of the wrath of God. Then he poured the wrath of God upon the nations of the earth that refused to listen to this prophet, the devil, one in the spiritual body, eternal, everlasting body, and the other in the physical realm, they refused to listen to this prophet, the mega prophet that can command heaven to open and bring down rain here right now. And heaven open and bring down rain here right now. The prophet that can summon God to come to them in the thick, dark cloud specification at Kisumu. And God Almighty come the way he came in the wilderness. When these two prophets were navigating the Israelites out of slavery. So the nations that refused to listen to them disobeyed and also I saw how they were blackmailing. They were talking blackmail. And then again they were talking blackmail. And then at that time, the Lord Jehovah, he lifted me up into the glorious kingdom of God where all of you would want to go. And at that place, then he showed me the cup full of the wrath of God, a glorious cup, and he poured the cup. He poured that cup about three to four times. He poured that cup about three to four times. I'm yet to know if the first one moved. Otherwise, there are four, four times that he poured. The cup of the wrath of Jehovah Yahweh, the tremendous, terrible God of Israel, he poured on the earth. And the, the wrath of God struck first. First struck the nation that he took me to that was blackmailing the two prophets of Yahweh and refused to listen to them. After that, then he judged the other nation. But the judgment is totally unbearable. 
it's unbearable. Nobody can sustain. He began by striking down the blackmailers themselves. So this is a tremendous hour when the cloud of God Almighty, the cloud of Yahweh, has visited the earth, has visited me. And now it's absolutely clear, according to the Lord God Almighty, it is clear to everybody that they must listen to this prophet and obey and submit that they may see the glorious kingdom of eternity. The sovereignty of God is now reigning. It is now at play. That now every nation must listen and submit because according to the Lord, you have now seen who this prophet is. And the nation that blackmailed and refused to obey. Yeah, so he struck down the blackmailers first. Then he struck the nation with tremendous wrath. The wrath of God. A tremendous wrath. That smashed the land. I cannot describe it here. You run away. And then after that he struck the other nations. Again, yesterday at night, the Lord Jehovah took me to a country. And he showed me, he put me in the bath, and I heard even the people talking. And when he put me there, and then those people blackmailed this prophet that is talking to you today, this night. And they refused to obey. And then Jehovah took me into his kingdom in heaven. Inside heaven, where you want to go, all of you. God, the creator of heaven, took me to heaven to give me the instruction. And then I saw the hand of God Almighty in the sky, and he poured the glorious cup, which was full, the cup full of his wrath, he poured down like this the earth four times. I'm yet to know if the first one moved his position, but up to now I see four. And then he struck the nation that he showed me that disobeyed and attempted to blackmail these two prophets. And then, he struck all the other nations, but the judgment is totally unbearable. The Messiah is coming. The King of Glory is coming. Prepare the way of the Lord, blessed people. The Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming. Make sure you believe the gospel. You receive Christ Jesus as Lord. And be born again. And after being born again, be baptized in complete immersion of water the way Jesus was baptized and then be baptized in the Holy Spirit and by fire and stop the discussions of pre-tribulation, mid-tribulation post-tribulation, that human philosophy, stay away from it simply prepare in holiness for the glorious coming of the Messiah in righteousness as the garment for entry into heaven I have already lowered the stairs of heaven. I have commanded heaven to lower its stairs, the glorious stairs. And heaven has already obeyed my words and lowered the glorious stairs of heaven, of eternity, of everlasting life up here. Most of you caught it by your cameras all over the web. And the second stage is that I see the church climbing up. So be holy. Be righteous as the garment that you need for entry. Walk in holiness, for without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. Nobody will see the glorious kingdom of Yahweh. The Messiah is coming. Stay away from blackmail. Totally stay away. Don't worry about that. That's another act. Once you get there, the door will be closed unto you. Don't touch that. Just be in holiness and enter. I have seen the future of the earth. So you stay away from blackmail. May the Lord help you. May your wisdom not fail you on this. The Messiah is coming. Thank you.